If you don't want this to happen to you, then keep watching and I'm going to show you how to add some extra security to your winter pool cover. Closing the pool for the winter is a very depressing time of the year. But even worse is when that cover comes off midwinter, letting in a bunch of leaves and dirty water, making that summer opening an absolute disaster. I've only had this pool for about five years and I've learned very quickly as to what to do and what not to do. And making sure that winter cover stays on is definitely one of the most important steps. I live in a coastal area, so the winds can be quite strong, which you can probably hear in the background of this video, which makes keeping my cover on the pool even more difficult. Most people rely on that tiny cable that comes with the cover and that ridiculous winch that's made out of cast metal. I've had instances where that winch literally crumbled in my hands while trying to get that cable tight. I've had a couple of years with just the cable in place with no issues, but more recently I've had some really windy storms that have caused my cover to get loose or even come off in one section of my pool. The way to add extra security to your pool cover is to combine these pool cover clips along with your cable system. These clip systems advertise that they can be used all by themselves, but I highly disagree. My recommendation is to combine these systems so that you get a sort of a double system to keep your cover on. These clips are very good at keeping your cover snug to your pool edge, which will keep the wind from getting up under the cover. It does happen where these clips pop off, causing a weak area, but that's why the cable system is good for a backup. The cable system alone allows wind to get up under the cover because it only grabs the pool where the grommets are, which are about three feet apart. These clips will hold the cover tight to the pool in between the grommets, causing a better, tighter seal all the way around. I recommend getting the ones with this two-part construction because they seem to be a lot stronger and more secure. To install them, first install the larger half on the pool edge with the longer edge facing outward, then pop on the retaining clip to secure. You need to make sure that you're installing them in a place on your pool edge that will allow for the clip to be fully engaged. So make sure it's an area like this and not an area like this. The goal is to have these spaced about two to two and a half feet evenly in between the grommets. These clips are also really useful for getting your cover situated when first putting it on your pool because you can use these clips to temporarily hold your cover in place while you're trying to get it positioned and centered perfectly. Here's some other really good tips for pool closing regarding your cover. Don't drain your water any lower than you have to. If the water is too low, it will put extra strain on your cover and the cables or clips. Make sure you install your pillow in the middle. This will help keep the cover from getting fully submerged. Most covers are not 100% waterproof and can allow water to actually penetrate. It's important that your pillow be tied in a way that keeps it in the middle so that the water that gets on the cover will stay on the outer edges, helping it weigh it down. The idea is to keep the cover from moving as much as possible. Allowing some water and ice to remain on the cover, along with the clips and cables, should keep the wind from causing the cover to whip around and potentially come off. There may be some extra windy days that will require you to check on things, and occasionally you may need to reinstall a few clips but that's nothing compared to opening a pool in the summertime with leaves and debris all in the water. So don't skimp out on a package of these cover clips when closing your pool for the winter. I'll leave a link below for you to get your own. There are different styles for different pools and the amount you get will vary depending on the size of your pool. You can add these at any time to your cover, which is good if you don't happen to have them on hand when closing your pool. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button.